G'day ladies and gents, welcome to Xris Art. In this painting demonstration I will be painting with pan pastels and pastel pencils and will be sharing five tips on achieving fine details and textures in pastel paintings. The surface I'll be painting on is pastel mat. I cannot stop talking about this paper. I'll always talk about this paper. It allows me to do so many things along with pastels. And yep, very forgiving. Uh, pastel mat is 360 GSM, acid free. And this sheet is part of a pad of 12. Uh, this is 30 by 40 centimeters and also comes in large sheets. I also use masking film to protect the areas that I don't want affected and of course glassine paper which is fantastic to use as it prevents the oil uh, from my hands uh, going onto the surface when I'm working. So five tips on achieving fine details and textures in pastel paintings. Number one, using the small soft tool applicator sponge uh, from pan pastels uh, these are great and sometimes get overlooked as a lot of artists go straight in with uh, pastel or colored pencils uh, for details after using pans for base layers number two bristle brushes in particular quarter and eighth of an inch synthetic angular brush the small size for obvious reasons, but in particular the angular part, which you will see me use quite a bit. I'm able to control my strokes in the smallest of areas. Number three, hog hair painting brush. Uh, this is usually a brush that I have hacked up for a specific uh, purpose stroke. Um, very, very useful and um, has got me out of a lot of um, situations where I wasn't sure how to tackle a particular a detail or a texture. Number four, glassine and a hog hair brush. This is a great technique when wanting to show a dusting of particles, uh, which is difficult to do with just even the smallest of bristle brushes. Number five, and last but no means least, pastel pencils. If you can get them sharp enough, and uh, they are a perfect complement to uh, pastel paintings, and in particular on top of pan pastel layers, uh, they certainly are terrific for creating that sparkle uh, for special fine details um, that you may need in your paintings. All of the tips mentioned here have been used in this project, which was painted in real time on my Patreon channel. If you're searching for interesting projects and want to learn how to achieve great effects that would uh, make you feel confident to tackle any project, whether it be small or large, I invite you to join my Patreon channel. You will receive weekly tutorials, real time step by step projects that would help you on your art journey. My name is Chrissy. Thank you so much for watching and until the next time, keep on keeping on.